Good afternoon. I am Mrs. McCray and I am back to share with you some important information from the DHS school counselors. Any junior or senior that is interested in taking College Express next year, please listen up. College Express applications are due uh, to your counselor by Wednesday, March the 16th. If you need an application or have not submitted your application, please do so. Please see your counselor ASAP. Also, this is a friendly reminder that the FAFSA and scholarship completion evening is scheduled for this coming Monday, March 14th. We will be meeting at 530 in the Little Theater. Please keep in mind that the FAFSA is a graduation requirement. So if you have not submitted your FAFSA and you have questions, please plan to attend on Monday. In addition, on Thursday, March the 15th, there will be a scholarship completion opportunity. All seniors will have the opportunity to complete local scholarships and receive assistance from the DHS counselors. You can sign up for this opportunity via your school counselor's Google Classroom. You may sign up for a, a maximum of three periods. Um, also, if you prefer, you can also stop by Mrs. Baker's room. Uh, she's located in room 324 to sign up. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day. The speech team is partnering with Driven Coffee to run a fundraiser through March 18th. There is a variety of coffees, teas, and delicious snacks available. Scan the QR code below to, pre to place your order. Please use the drop down menu at the checkout to give any team member you know credit for their sale. Seniors, the DAC Foundation scholarship deadline has been extended to March 21st. Accompanying letters of recommendation must be submitted by March 28th. If you have procrastinated applying, now is the time to get it done. Additionally, any DHS students who will be taking dual enrollment in the fall are eligible to apply. Join Josh Anderson, the admission counselor from Lincoln College in the Little Theater on March 16th at 1230 to hear more about what Lincoln College has to offer. The National Council of Teachers of English is hosting a writing competition celebrating black writers. The categories for this competition is fiction, prose, and essay. This is a national contest. The first place winner will receive a $3,000 cash prize. The second place winner will receive $1,500. The deadline for submissions is May 23rd, 2022. Students who wish to participate need to reach out to their English teacher or speak with Ms. Stanley for more information. The topics you can explore for this contest include social injustice, racism, voter suppression, and the public health pandemic. The word count is from 750 to 4,000 words of original work not previously published. Join the DHS Local History Club for a special exhibit at the Vermilion County Museum in Danville. The museum will feature the artwork of 12 survivors of the Auschwitz Birkenau concentration camp that depict the experiences the survivors had during the Holocaust. This art display is a unique opportunity for students to learn about the history of the Holocaust, the Auschwitz Birkenau camp, and this significant event in human history. The exhibit will be open to all DHS students that are interested on Wednesday, March 9th at the Vermilion County Museum from 3.15 to 4.15 p.m. For more information, please see Mr. Gritton in room T202. Mr. Reed will be hosting a mock SAT on Wednesday, March 30th, Thursday, March 31st, and Saturday, April 2nd. Scan the QR code to register or see Mr. Reed in room 137. Interested in a career in nursing? Join Amy McFadden from Lakeview College of Nursing in the Little Theater on Tuesday, March 29th at 11 a.m. to hear more about what Lakeview has to offer. DHS will be hosting a blood drive on Wednesday, April 6th in the Little Theater. Sign-ups are available by using the QR code with Ms. Sieber in room 228 or in the library. Donors must be at least 17 years old or 16 with a signed parent permission slip. Local scholarships are beginning to come in. The QR code below will take you to the 2022 DHS scholarship offering Google Sheet. Please check this on a regular basis as scholarships will continue to be added. Scholarships have separate applications and instructions. Some scholarships have a link to separate information related to the application. Some applications will need to be printed off, filled in, and sent directly to the donors. Please follow the instructions carefully to ensure your application is submitted correctly and on time. As a reminder, scholarships are gifts. Someone has either raised or earned money to help students pay for college expenses. Your application needs to reflect the hard work someone else has put in for your benefit. Scholarships are competitions. Each donor is looking for something specific, but all are looking for the best candidate. Your application will be compared to other students, so this is the time to brag about yourself. Let people know about all the interesting and exciting things you are doing in and out of school. The more completely you present yourself, the better your chances are of earning a scholarship. 
Scholarships are limited. Not everyone who applies for a scholarship will receive one. That's why your application has to show you at your best. The first set of scholarships are due February 15th, so don't delay. Reach out to your school counselor if you have any questions or need assistance. Hey everybody, it's Miss Heston here. Um, I just wanted to show off this beautiful map we have of our DHS college acceptances. Right now we just have the AVID students up here in the schools that they have been accepted to, but we want to expand to the rest of the seniors. So please, seniors, if you've been accepted to a school, whether it is a four-year university, a community college, a trade school, no matter what it is, please email me at hestont at danville118.org so that I can get your school up here and we can celebrate your success. Have a great day.